In the realm of royal succession, unexpected events can shape a king's destiny and rewrite the pages of history. Such was the case with Queen Camilla, an ascendant figure who captured the world's attention. As Queen Elizabeth II's reign ends in 2022, Camilla finds herself in an unprecedented position, assuming the title of queen alongside her husband, King Charles III. However, with the future shrouding a veil of uncertainty, one can't help but wonder what would happen if the king had to die before her. Will she begin a new chapter as a king in her own right, or will her fate take an unforeseen turn? Join us to learn about 15 ruthless facts that would happen to Camilla if King Charles dies first. 1. Camilla's Path to Coronation Over the course of nearly two decades since her marriage to Charles in 2005, Camilla, alongside her husband, has dedicated themselves to community service while upholding the values of stability, discretion, and integrity. Despite the initial challenges and public scrutiny that followed their union, Professor Purcell remarks that society, even if not entirely embracing it, has come to accept their relationship. Camilla's unwavering commitment to avoiding missteps and gracefully navigating the complexities of her role has earned her admiration. Notably, after becoming Princess of Wales, she chose not to assume the title. Prior to Queen Elizabeth II's passing in September 2022, she ensured her unequivocal support for Camilla's future role as Queen. In a heartfelt letter penned in February 2022, the late Queen expressed her confidence in Camilla's abilities, stating that she believed Camilla would continue her devoted service alongside Charles when the time came for him to ascend the throne. Queen Elizabeth II's endorsement serves as a testament to her belief that Camilla should be recognized as queen in her own right. The momentous coronation of Charles III and Camilla unfolds on May 6, 2023, within the hallowed walls of London's Westminster Abbey. While it is important to note that Camilla already held the title of queen by virtue of her marriage to the monarch, her official proclamation as Queen Camilla occurs during the coronation ceremony, where she is bestowed the regal name of Queen Mary, 2. What is the Queen's mission after the coronation? Camilla's present mission unfolds as she stands by her husband, now King Charles III, fulfilling her role within the royal family. Buckingham Palace confirms that the Queen, formerly known as the esteemed HRH Duchess of Cornwall, provides unwavering support to King Charles in the execution of his royal duties and endeavors. Additionally, she wholeheartedly embraces her responsibilities to champion charitable causes, publicly representing the royal family in these philanthropic endeavors. 3. And what if King Charles III died before her? According to reports, if King Charles 74 dies before Camilla, Camilla will assume the title of Queen Mother. However, Camilla is not a direct descendant of Windsor. She would not be the only queen in the event of Charles's untimely death. The eventual succession plan follows the established line of hereditary monarchy. If Camilla was born into the royal family and placed in the direct line of succession, she would possess the potential to become a respected queen, wielding supreme power. Alas, this is not the case. Instead, the responsibility of taking the throne as the monarch of the United Kingdom will fall to Charles's eldest son, 41-year-old William. Together with his wife, the venerable Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, they will assume the role of leadership carrying out the legacy of the Windsor line. Their accession to the throne represents a continuation of a long tradition and hope for a prosperous future for the UK. 4. Who shall be the next queen? Delving into the lineage of succession, we find Princess Charlotte, positioned as third in line to the throne, emerges as a potential contender. This would mark a significant milestone as she represents a new generation ready to shape the monarchy's future. However, it is worth considering that if Prince George, her elder brother, were to have children, the likelihood of Princess Charlotte assuming the role of queen would diminish. 5. What power will Camilla hold? The question lingers. Will Camilla retain her current title? Yet in the unfortunate event of the king's passing, Camilla's title will undergo a transformation. She will assume the revered position of queen mother, an esteemed title bestowed upon the widow of the monarch. Its initial usage dates back to 1830 when Queen Adelaide assumed this honorable position following the passing of her husband, King William VI. The absence of direct heirs led to Queen Victoria, 
William IV's granddaughter, ascending to the revered role of monarch. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that the role of Queen Mother does not entail sharing in Charles's sovereignty. As Queen Mother, Camilla will not possess any political or military authority or influence. Her position will primarily be one of honor, guidance, and support to the reigning monarch, offering a steady hand in times of transition and a wellspring of wisdom garnered from her experiences within the royal family. However, the Queen Mother will not have any legitimate claim to the throne after the King's death. 6. What would happen if King Charles died suddenly? In the event of King Charles's passing, a meticulously planned operation known as Menai Bridge will be set into motion. This contingency plan serves as a backup, akin to the previously executed Operation London Bridge following the lamentable death of Queen Elizabeth II. 7. The Most Worthy Member for the Throne in the line of succession, the distinguished position falls upon Prince William, ensuring his ascension to the throne as the next monarch. Beside him, his beloved wife Catherine, Princess of Wales, will assume the esteemed role of Queen Consort Catherine, gracing the throne with her presence and support. Should circumstances render Prince William unable to fulfill his destiny at the time of his father's passing, the torch of leadership will be passed on to his children. Beginning with the poised and charismatic Prince George, followed by the illustrious Duchess Princess Charlotte, and ultimately concluding with the endearing Prince Louis, the succession to the British throne is firmly set. So how is the relationship between William and Camilla? In the past, according to esteemed royal author Angela Levin, Prince William has been resolute in expressing that Camilla will never fill the void left by his beloved mother, Princess Diana. Levin's book, Camilla, from outcast to queen consort, sheds light on the Prince of Wales' candid stance regarding his children's connection with Camilla. Levin reveals that Prince William has made it unequivocally clear that Camilla is his father's wife, but not a stepmother to his own children. Within the dynamics of their family, the three children of William and Kate Middleton are aware of having two grandfathers, but only one grandmother. However, at royal engagements, the family always seems to get along regardless of whether or not there are cracks below the surface. 8. The Duke of Sussex The potential scenario where Prince George finds himself orphaned and too young to assume the role of monarch gives rise to an important question. Who would step in to guide and protect him? In such a circumstance, Prince Harry, his uncle, would be entrusted with the crucial responsibility of acting as regent until Prince George comes of age to fulfill his royal duties. Prince Harry the Duke of Sussex, being King Charles III's second son, falls next in line after his nephews and niece. However, it is worth noting that his position in the line of succession could change if his brother decides to expand his own family by having more children. Considering Prince Harry's relationship with Camilla, if he does take the throne, it's complicated indeed. In a press conference promoting his memoir, Spare, Prince Harry expressed empathy towards Camilla, relating his own experiences as the third in his parents' marriage. He shared that he and Camilla have not been in touch for a long time. Additionally, he disclosed that Camilla had repurposed his former bedroom at Clarence House into her own personal dressing room when he moved out at the age of 28. Within the pages of his memoir, Prince Harry delves deeper into his strained relationship with his father and Camilla. He revealed that news of his drug use was leaked in 2002. It shows that Prince Charles sent him to a rehab center, ostensibly to establish Charles as a father figure. The portrayal of this incident suggests a calculated attempt to manipulate public opinion. Prince Harry further discloses that in 2019, his brother, Prince William, grew increasingly frustrated with the actions of his father and Camilla's associates. Allegedly, stories concerning William, Kate, and their children were being disseminated, prompting William to voice his refusal to tolerate such actions any longer. It is evident that tensions and mistrust had permeated their relationships. In short, it's unlikely that his relationship with Camilla has improved over the years, but it seems to be a concern for her if Harry becomes king and takes full control of the decision. Now, we will explore the next positions in the line of succession to the throne. 9. Archie and Lilibet. Next in the line of succession after Prince Harry are his two children, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, the cherished firstborn of Prince Harry, carries no formal royal title, 
as his parents have consciously stepped away from their royal responsibilities. Nevertheless, Archie holds a significant place within the line of succession, symbolizing a bond that transcends titles and conventions. After Archie is his older sister, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Born to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, she bears a name that pays homage to both her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, and her mother, Diana. Lilibet Diana's inclusion in the line of succession solidifies her connection to the intricate tapestry of the royal lineage. 10. Prince Andrew, Duke of York Prince Andrew, the esteemed Duke of York, holds a unique position in the royal family's line of succession. Born during a time when the rules of succession differed from the present, Prince Andrew found himself placed ahead of his older sister, Princess Anne, in the order of succession. While Princess Anne, as the older sibling, might have been expected to hold a higher place in the line of succession, the circumstances surrounding Prince Andrew's birth and the evolving nature of the monarchy afforded him a position ahead of her. What about Camilla and Prince Andrew's relationship? The relationship between Camilla Parker Bowles and Prince Andrew has been marred by strains and tensions over the years. Reports suggest that the Duchess of Cornwall and the Duke of York have not always seen eye to eye. One notable incident that fueled rumors of their strained relationship was Camilla's absence from the royal wedding of Princess Eugenie, Andrew's daughter, in 2018. Although she was unable to attend due to her pre-engagement, this absence caused obvious tensions between them. According to insights from Richard Kay, a respected royal journalist, the Duchess has not forgotten how Prince Andrew treated her during the challenging years following the untimely death of Princess Diana. In the past, when public sentiments toward Charles and Camilla were far from sympathetic and often openly hostile, Prince Andrew's actions were perceived as politically motivated, leaving a lasting impact on Camilla. 11. Princess Beatrice Princess Beatrice, the eldest daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, holds a significant position within the royal family. As the firstborn, she carries the weight of being the heir to the throne, making her role all the more pivotal. In 2021, Princess Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, experienced the joyous arrival of their daughter, Sienna. This delightful addition to their family marks a future where Sienna will follow in her mother's footsteps, eventually assuming her place within the royal lineage. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, and Princess Beatrice have many similarities. They are said to have a sweet relationship. Both are step-parents through their respective marriages. Both Charles and Camilla were among many members of the royal family who came to congratulate Beatrice on her wedding to Eduardo. 12. Princess Eugenie Princess Eugenie, the cherished daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, occupies a significant position in the line of succession to the British throne. As the youngest daughter of the Duchess of York, Eugenie embodies a radiant spirit and holds a special place within the royal family. Her presence brings a sense of joy and hope for the future. On a memorable day in 2021, Princess Eugenie and her loving husband Jack Brooksbank experienced the profound joy of welcoming their first child into the world. August as Eugenie's beloved child, follows in the footsteps of his mother in the line of succession. In January 2023, Eugenie announced that she was pregnant again. Princess Eugenie is also said to have honored the royal connection with her aunt Duchess Camilla through mutual love. In the photos, it seems that their relationship is quite close. Relationship is 13. Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex Prince Edward, the esteemed Earl of Wessex, holds a prominent position in the line of succession to the throne as he is the younger brother of King Charles III and the beloved youngest son of the revered Queen Elizabeth II. His place in the succession order is significant, preceding that of Princess Anne, his sister, 14, Viscount Severn and Lady Louise Mountbatten-Windsor. James, the Viscount Severn, holds a special place in the hearts of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, as their beloved son. Born in 2007, James carries the promise of a bright future and is a cherished member of the royal family. His position as heir to the throne fills our hearts with hope and anticipation. Alongside James stands his adoring younger sister, Lady Louise Mountbatten-Windsor. While Lady Louise, as the eldest child of Prince Edward, was born before the implementation of the Succession to the Crown Act 2013, 
It is James who leads the way in the line of succession. Their bond as siblings is strong, and their presence symbolizes the continuity of the royal lineage. 15. Anne, Princess Royal Anne, the esteemed Princess Royal, holds a special place within the royal family as the sister of King Charles III and the second child of the late Queen Elizabeth II. Her position as the next in line to the British crown is a testament to her importance and dedication to the monarchy. When it comes to Queen Camilla, Princess Anne shares a close relationship with her sister-in-law, who now holds the title of Queen Consort. Despite Queen Camilla's relatively recent marriage to King Charles in 2005, their families have had a long history of living together and intertwining their lives. Before her marriage to King Charles, Queen Camilla was previously married to Andrew Parker Bowles from 1973 to 1995, with whom she shares two children. However, what is less known is the romantic involvement between Andrew and Princess Anne prior to his marriage to Camilla. The pair had a deep connection, particularly through their shared passion for horses. Anne and Andrew, who is Camilla's ex-husband, were once a couple. Their shared interests and bond brought them together. However, due to Andrew being Catholic, their relationship was not able to progress further. Doubt or surprise? How do you feel about these things? Please comment below, like, and subscribe to update the latest videos about the British royal family. Thanks for watching.